here we have two nice drills. Can you tell which one's brushed and which one's brushless? Well, sometimes it can, can be quite difficult because they're often in disguise. As you can see, with one drill that's brushless and with one drill that's brushed. Brushless drill is a little bit shorter. Often when they're manufacturing drills with brushless motors, they tend to be able to make them more compact. And as they're a more premium drill, quite often being brushless, they actually tend to have a little bit more power than their brushed counterparts. So one of the other major advantages of a brushless drill is that they're actually more efficient. Um, because of the way the brushless motor works, more of the energy is used to turn the spindle of the drill. Less energy is wasted as heat. So they tend to perform a lot better. There's less wasted energy, which means your battery lasts longer or you get more runtime from the same battery. So it's only relatively small gains, but if you were to say that a brushless drill might give you 20% more battery life or is 20% more efficient than a brush drill, for those who are using them on a daily basis or those who are professional in the industry, you might want to choose a brushless drill so that you get a little bit more life out of your batteries. So they're more efficient and brushless drills tend to be slightly made in a slightly more premium fashion. So as you can see, this Stanley drill has a far more robust casing being brushless than the brushed one. It seems a little bit cheaper. You have more plastic components. So if you're wanting a slightly more premium drill, I'd suggest you go for a brushless one. So one of the big advantages of a brushless drill is obviously you don't have to replace the brushes. So on this brushed Stanley drill here, the only way to get at the brushes is to remove all these screws. You have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws have to be removed. You have to take the drill housing apart, get inside the drill, replace the two brushes that are in contact with the electric motor and then reassemble your drill. Now, in my experience with brush drills, um, you'll only need to replace the brushes probably once every five years and that's with fairly regular use sort of day to day so your brushes only need replacing very rarely but still when it comes to replacing them on this drill you have to take your drill out of action you have to sit down for an hour an hour and a half and just slowly replace your brushes as well as order some new ones online find the right brushes that fit so although it's a fairly simple job to replace the brushes on a drill it's still a job you don't have to do if you buy a brushless version so in conclusion, if you want a drill that has longer runtime, it's more efficient, requires less maintenance and performs a lot better, then you'd probably want to opt for a brushless drill. The only catch is that brushless drills are often about 30% more expensive. But that, that price gap is becoming narrower and narrower and increasingly brushless drills are becoming the norm. If you want to save yourself a little bit of money, you're not planning on using your drill all the time, and really you're planning on purchasing a drill to get the job done and um, then I would suggest if you want to save a little bit of change go for the brush version it'll be absolutely fine you might need to replace the brushes at some point in five years time but hey who knows what's going to happen in five years time so the choice is yours it's up to you depending on you want to go brushed or brushless it's your decision I can only guide you